Good morning, guys, gals, and non-binary pals. It is Thursday, right? Yeah, it's Thursday, and um, it's afternoon. I am so hungry. <laughs> we just finished all of our therapy for the day, and I wasn't hungry this morning, so I was like, I can wait until lunch. But I decided for lunch I was going to roast turkey breast. And so that is still going and I am so hungry. I've had a lot of fun today too though. Um, between therapies, my brother, I've mentioned before that my brother is graduating actually this week, but he's working on his thesis, final project, etc. because he's at art school. He's getting his master's in arts. And so part of his project is he has to do some filming and you know, shot lists and this just everything. I forgot how much fun it was to work on projects like this. If you've seen my random things about me video, which I'll post up here in case you haven't, you know that once upon a time, another life ago, I had a photography business. I've been recording things since I was like 16. I wanted to be a film director when I grew up, etc., etc., etc. But it's been a long time since I've had a creative project like that, where I had to come up with like a shot list and stuff. Like I suppose, Part of the reason why I do YouTube is to kind of satisfy that creative little itch, but it's different when there's acting involved and it's actually, it's different when it's somebody else's project, I guess. Like more than one person involved, that energy of feeding off each other in a creative way, I miss that. So even though it was just for a few brief moments, it was a lot of fun helping out my brother with his project today. Actually, I think we might do more later. So if that's the case, then I'll show you guys now. So anyways, can't wait for this turkey to come out of the oven. I really wanna eat. And I have a couple things lined up today. I actually have a lot of editing to do today, but also I have a lot of filming to do because I have a video that I wanna put out in like two days and I haven't even started it. So um, yeah, under the wire. Turkey, 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 I am so hungry. Oh, oh wow. Oh, <laughs> wow. They're just standing there peacefully. Why? What's the point of this? Like, why is this necessary? So, because they're violating curfew, they're going to throw smoke at them. That's ridiculous. So, it's nighttime. <laughs> it's Friday night. And I haven't recorded anything today for the vlog. Today was a busy day. It was another one of those back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back therapy days. And then on top of my mom duties and homeschool and therapy and just household things, just everything. There was so much going on. I also recorded, edited, exported, uploaded, and prepared a video all today so that it could go live tomorrow. And I knew that that might be the consequence of taking me time earlier this week. But again, no regrets. I really needed it at the time. And I feel like I work pretty well under pressure. So hopefully the video um, is good. I mean, that's all I can say, right? But I've just been glued to CNN, um, watching the protests and just, I'm being really affected by it, as as we all should be, honestly. Like, if you're not affected by this, then what's wrong with you? Really sad that this is just the state of our world. Really worried for the safety of the protesters. Really angry that this is what they have to do to be listened to, you know, to be heard because they have a problem when they take a knee. They have a problem when they protest peacefully. There's always a problem, right? So damned if you do, damned if you don't. And whenever I see things like this, I always imagine like another life ago, I would have been out there. I don't take these types of risks anymore because I have a child that very heavily depends on me and relies on me. 
but I feel like I should be out there. And the fact that I'm not weighs heavy on me because there's only so much I can do for the cause from behind a computer screen. And that makes me disappointed in myself, but it's not about me, it's about them. And all I want is for, all I want is for them to get what they need, get what they want, get what they deserve. They deserve to be seen and heard and safe. And I know that the vlogs the last couple weeks have been really heavy, but this is what's going on. I said all the way back in episode one that this vlog was gonna be about what's happening in the world because right now we're going through something very historic and it feels that way. Sometimes you don't realize that something is important and big and historic until you look back and go, wow, that really was a thing, huh? But you can feel that right now we're going through something monumental in so many ways in this country and it's scary, but it needs to happen. So with that, I'm going to stop watching TV because there's only so much my brain can take and I have the privilege, I recognize so heartily that I have the privilege of being able to just shut it off. I, I don't even have the words. So I'm not gonna say anything else on it. Just, my heart is with you guys. From every corner of the world, I wanna hear 3,000 plus names undinging into my ears. I can take it, so do your worst. All right, now, warm up those voices. Beautiful, you sound great. You're also gonna need some of these, you should have these in your party boxes. Maybe you bought other accoutrements too. They gave yeah, you a party box? You had to it's order it. Time. So, oh, here we go. Order it? I didn't get the email. <gasps> the grad We're missing out on Please. the full graduation experience yeah. right now. Well, I mean, we are anyway. Whatever. Right. I can't believe they didn't even do it's a ticker of your name, though. So. Go outside it's and scream and then we'll take pictures. <laughs> right, let's go. <laughs> What side is it supposed to be on before? On the left. No, to the, on the right and then the to the left. Greg, smile. Eh, mira, se graduó. Oh! <laughs> if that isn't indicative of this whole year. <laughs> That feel when you're trying to record a video, but then landscapers show up. So my brother had his graduation ceremony this morning. Sorry for the background noise, nothing I could do about it. And it was kind of disappointing, I'm not gonna lie. It was a 45 minute affair and they had a bunch of guest speakers. It was hosted by the star of The Marvelous Miss Maisel or whatever that show's called. I haven't seen it. I've heard it's great, but I've never watched it. And Alicia Keys gave a commencement speech and performed. I'm sure that would have been much more impressive in person and not over YouTube. But I was hoping and expecting, if I'm honest, that they would at the very least have like a ticker at the bottom of the screen with all the graduates' names or maybe like something at the end, like movie credit style where everybody would be listed. I mean, that's no more effort than it would have taken for them to make up programs, which they would have had to do for a typical graduation anyways. And it's an arts and design school, so something like that, I imagine, can't be hard to do. And it's not like they had to throw this together last minute or anything. They've known for several weeks, months even, that this was going to end up being this way. So I don't know, it just feels like they could have and honestly should have done more for the graduates. And then it's a family tradition of ours that whenever somebody graduates, we go to Outback. And actually, I think that's probably the only reason we ever go to Outback. So Outback is the graduation restaurant. That's just like, it's the thing. That's what we've always done. It's just like a family joke at this point. So my parents bought steaks to make here because to be frank, we make much better steaks than they have at Outback. But my brother wanted like a blooming onion and the brown bread that they have there and all that. So my parents ordered sides basically and had them delivered so that they could have them. I just had broccoli and my steak, but they had a full Outback meal pretty much. So that was fun because we somehow made it work. We somehow made the tradition happen. And we have one more surprise for later. When their heads bowed, again, this was uh, all after the law enforcement that is out Yeah, this is the one I had seen online. Yeah, but some sort of microphone asked the South Beach. 
How shame. Everybody's just standing around. They're praying. They're in front of a church and they're praying. They're not trying to be violent or... I told them to stand next to the sign because you worked hard on it. Da -na 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 -na. <laughs> Here, get there so I can take a picture. Papi, look, you're in the shot. Hanging out outside for the first time in a long time because the weather's been absolute garbage. Look how cute what my grandma got my mom for her birthday. Look at this pretty table. It's a little mosaic on top. That's so nice. This is just the beginning, guys. America, as you know it, is over. And good riddance. I feel like things have gotten so heavy in the last couple of weeks. And my videos definitely reflect that. But if you go all the way back to episode one, what did I say? We're living through something historic and I am gonna document all of it. I try not to get too political in my vlogs, which can sometimes feel very inauthentic to me because if you know me in real life, you know that I am a very political person, very politically driven. I very much believe that politics is something that everybody should be extremely involved with because it's something that for better or worse touches every single aspect of your life. So I try not to like force anything down anybody's throat and I'm certainly not trying to be controversial, but I think y'all can pretty much understand by now where I come from with all these things if you've been watching my videos for any length of time. It's scary what's happening out there, but I 100% believe it's something that needs to happen. It's something that has been building for a very long time and it was only a matter of time before this happened. And unfortunately, I think what it's going to take for it to even begin to calm down is for a president I say a president because I don't feel like we have one right now, but a president needs to come up to a mic, address the country and say, we hear the protesters, they have value. We respect what they're saying. And these are the amends that we're hoping to make, beginning with arresting the people involved with Floyd. But that's just the very beginning because all cops need to be retrained. The police force needs to be demilitarized. And you know what? I'm not, I'm not even gonna, let's stop. Let's stop with the hypotheticals. I don't wanna speak for a community that is not my own. I've always struggled with this because I am not black, obviously. I am a minority in this country, but I also understand that I have light skin and I have privileges that come along with that. It's all the more complicated by the fact that I live in South Florida and in South Florida, Hispanics are the majority, not the minority. If I left my little bubble, I would be, I'm sure, just dumbstruck by the amount of racism that would be thrown at me. But that's not to say that I have any inkling, any idea, any clue what it's like to walk around this country or this world as a black person. So I'm not gonna pretend to speak for that community. I am gonna say, I'm with you, I stand with you and any way that I can help amplify your voice, I want to be able to do that. I only wish there was more I could do. With that being said, it feels weird to do my typical send off. So like, comment, subscribe, etc. I hope you guys will stick around for more of my vlogs if this is your first one. If it's not your first one, thank you so much as always for coming back. I really appreciate you. Um, I post 
three times a week. So please be sure to subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss a minute. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all. I stand with you all. Bye. To achieve a new dimension in sound, impossible to obtain in a monoral recording.